The communication from the lander to ground station was lost. The data is being analyzed. After the heartbreak of Chandrayaan 2, suffered back in 2019, the Indian Space Research Organization is now ready for its second attempt at landing and exploring the surface of the moon with Chandrayaan 3. The Chandrayaan 3 is a follow-on mission to Chandrayaan 2 to demonstrate end-to-end -end capability in landing and roving the surface of the moon. The difference being that Chandrayaan 3 will not have an orbiter module. Scientists at the ISRO have also tried a different approach this time to minimize the risk of failure. ISRO's chief S. Somnath explains what went wrong with Chandrayaan 2 and how the approach is different this time around. The ability to handle parameter variation or dispersion was very limited. So what we did this time is simply expand that further. Look at what are things that can go wrong. So we, instead of success-based design in Chandrayaan 2, we are doing a failure-based design in Chandrayaan 3. What all can fail and how to protect it. So this is the approach that we are taking. Using a failure-based design, that's the out-of-the-box approach the scientists at ISRO are taking this time around. The launch of Chandrayaan 3 will see the 3,900 kilogram GSLV rocket take off from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota in about an hour. Following this, the satellite will orbit the Earth several times before entering the lunar gravitational field and descending onto the Moon's surface. This entire journey is expected to last about a month with the scheduled landing for the 23rd or 24th of August. A day before the launch, scientists were also pictured visiting the temple to seek the Almighty's blessings. The landing, if successful, will make India the first ever nation to successfully soft land near the lunar south pole. It will also see India become only the fourth country after the US, Russia and China to successfully soft land on the moon itself. The Indian Space Research Organization has built a reputation of developing cost-effective, reliable solutions and the Chandrayaan-3, if successful, will land on the moon with a budget of just 615 crores. That's one-fourth the amount spent in the making of the latest installment of the Mission Impossible series, which had a budget of well over 2,400 crores.